בוקר טוב, משה לניאלו רפרזנטינג כולל אהבת ישראל. ערב שבת פרשת ויצא. יעקב אבינו leaves his father's house and comes to הר מוריה, comes to the מקום הבית and he falls asleep. But before he falls asleep, he enacts the prayer of Arabit. Therefore, we know that Avraham Avinu enacted Shacharit. Yitzchak, Mincha. And now Yaakov enacts the prayer of Arabit. Now it's an interesting halacha. Brought that in the Gemara. And emphasized by Shimon Bar Yochai that I know I'm obligated to pray but how many times? And the Gemara tells us that there's an obligation to pray Shachrit and Mincha but when it comes to Arbit I'm not obligated. That is up to me. If I want to pray, I can pray. If I don't want to pray, I can't pray. Oh, don't think that that's talacha, because now Klal Yisrael has accepted it upon itself as an obligation. But originally, it was just a reshut. You had that choice. The question arises, why is Yaakov's prayer a reshut and all the other avot, their prayer is a chovah, an obligation? So, one answer could be that, you know what? The Gemara gives us two reasonings for the prayers. One is, as we just mentioned, that they were instituted by Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. But another answer is based on the Korbanot. And there was only really two Korbanot every day. One in the morning and one in the afternoon. So therefore, those prayers are obligatory. While Arbit... They didn't have really a korban. Therefore, prayers of Arbit are optional. But if you still we have a question. But still, why is Yaakov's prayer the optional one? And especially if the Rambam says that the reason we pray is because our fathers, the patriarchs, were the ones who established the prayers. There's another reason brought down in the Jerusalem Talmud why the day the prayers are split into three. One, sunrise, a glorious time. Pray to God. Middle of the day, the sun is bright. Everything is lit. Pray to God. And at night, when the darkness has come, Another stage in the day, pray to Bori Olam. Maybe we could understand our question with this Yerushalmi, with this concept of the day being split up into three. Yes, in the morning, that is the prayer of Abraham. He looks at the world and it's being rejuvenated. The sun is coming up. It's glorious. The Ish Chesed, his heart is in an outpour of prayer. Shachrit. That's when people pray Shachrit. Vatikin. Vatikin means with the sunrise. Special people do that, yes. And then we have Mincha. Mincha is Yitzchak. The sun is, is shining. But the best time to pray Mincha is usually before sunset, an hour before, the shadows are long. The day is coming to an end. Panic is coming. Uh, we have to get things done. That is Mincha. That is Yitzchak. Yitzchak is realizing that time is passing. He knows that there's 400 years that the seed of Abraham is going to be in Galut. And he might be panicking. Therefore, 
That's mincha. But then there's Arbit, and that's Yaakov. And if we just look at Yaakov and see when he prayed Arbit, when he instituted it, we'll get a feeling. Yaakov was 63 years old, a bachelor, running away from his brother, running away from his father's home with nothing. All his money was taken by Eliphaz, by Esav, and all he had was the shirt on his back. No wife, no family, no land that he could call his own. He was in the dark. That is the prayer of Arbit. When we're in the dark, when we have nothing, seemingly. And that is why it's optional. Because not everybody could come and have that great emunah and realize that the dark is temporary. Soon the light will come. And that is what David HaMelech says in Tehilim. That he says that in the evening I will say your emunah. As it says in Tehilim, Lahagid baboke chastecha. And I will say your greatness, your chesed in the morning. Emunatecha balelot. But at night it's only emunah. Not everybody has that great emunah. Therefore, this prayer is optional. When it comes to giving thanks to the Bori Olam on the chesed and the rejuvenation, shachrit, it's in everybody's hands. When it comes to the middle of the day, at the end of the day, when the time is running, and I have to do so much, people have the ability to pray to the Bori Olam. It's a time of panic. When it comes to the evening, uh, when it's night, when a person is enveloped with problems, sometimes he just does not have the emuna. Therefore, that prayer is considered a prayer of optionality. It's optional. But in truth, today, all the prayers are obligations. That even in the night, we know that the Bori Olam is right around the corner to save us. Bezrat Hashem, everybody have a Shabbat Shalom.